Man, I could really go for a hot dog right now. Only problem is I don't know if I've got the cash to swing it. Let me check my wallet. <clears throat> Oh, right. About a $200 Lego minifigure at 3 in the morning last night. Maybe they'll take it? Nope. The hot dog stand did not want my $200 Lego minifigure. I guess I'll review it instead. I'm hungry. Good news, everyone. I actually just found this outside in a dumpster. Alright, we can get on with uh, reviewing that Lego guy, I guess. I love hot dogs. All right, gamers, here we go. I emptied my bank account for this bad boy. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it'd make an interesting video. I think it's kind of neat. Uh, I might sell it after the video. Of course, we're going to open it, so it will drop its value a little bit, but it's still a pretty expensive Lego minifigure. Um, so if you don't know what this is, we'll be getting right into that and I'll explain exactly what we got here. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoy this video. Uh, subscribe if you have not already and comment down below if you think I'm an idiot for buying this. I think I'm an idiot for buying this. <laughs> so this is a Shadow Lego ARF Trooper minifigure. Uh, these were sold exclusively by Lego uh, on May the 4th. And uh, they were sold on May the 4th, as obviously, May the 4th be with you, the the uh, Star Wars Day celebration sort of a thing, 2011, quite a while ago, uh, 10 years now. This is a 10-year-old minifigure, and I'm pretty sure they stopped selling minifigures in these sort of sets or giving them away in these sort of sets. I, I read somewhere that there was something like a, you know, legal problem with them literally selling just a minifigure. Or something like that, though this was technically a giveaway. I don't know if that's entirely true, but that's just what I saw. I think it was on like r slash Lego or something like that, where they said that. I don't know. Do you guys know if that's true or not? Yeah, I could just be talking out my butt right now. Uh, either way, I'll be right back. I'm going to get some scissors, and we will open this thing up and uh, check out what's going on with the $200 Shadow Arf Trooper. Okay, gamers, here we go. Got our trusty pair of schnip schnips. I'm going to be really careful doing this because I think the bag itself will hold some value. So I want to make sure it's uh, cleanly cut here. You know, oh, it's kind of nerve wracking. Like cutting one of these pieces would probably tank the value of the piece immediately. All right. I think that's enough cutting. It's one of those things like I know uh, old Pokemon cards and things like that. You want to save the wrapper because a lot of people buy the uh, the packaging for those. So I sort of thought, uh, maybe it's the same thing with this, you know? You wanna, you wanna save the package uh, if you ever resell it in the future. And to be honest, it's a cool collector's item to have. It, it's very cool. Actually, it's kind of a piece of Lego history, I would say. One of the, if not the, rarest uh, Lego minifigures. At the very least, it's the rarest Lego Clone Trooper minifigure, I believe, the most expensive one. So it is kind of cool to have and to own, but it's just, you know, it's not worth it. <laughs> it's so expensive. I mean, maybe it could be considered an investment, but I just opened it. And if I wanted to invest with it, I'd probably keep it sealed. So as you can see, we've got standard Lego head, the classic, uh, but then the body is obviously clone ARF trooper body, completely black. So why don't we go ahead and equip him with a noggin? Big brain, okay. Uh, then we have standard black legs. Not bad. I mean, you gotta remember, they're, they're not gonna be adding padding or anything cool like that to these legs um, because th this was simply like a free giveaway. This wasn't like an exclusive, super epic, super expensive Lego minifigure that's like highly detailed. This was literally a free minifigure they used to give away. It's just an ARF Trooper, but Shadow Trooper-ish, so. It makes sense that it's not like super highly detailed, uh, but I feel like for the price, I'm expecting it to be like, I don't know, what are these like Utapau troopers, which are highly detailed or whatever, you know? <laughs> like, this is arguably the more quality clone minifigure. It's just so much more detailed and nice, uh, but this one holds value because of its rarity. 
you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then here is the helmet right there. All right. That is the complete Shadow Arf clone minifigure. Wow. Um, I spent $200 on this. I, don't know, I feel like at this point, like, I got to use them in a stop motion, right? <laughs> if, you know, if, if the price was uh, that steep, I got I to gotta use them in something before I sell them, right? I feel like it'd be wasteful not to. This is the only opportunity I'll have. And I have a feeling these things will probably climb in value as the years go on. You know, in another 10 years, it might be 300 bucks. In another 10 years after that, it might be 500 bucks. Who knows? Um, it is certainly interesting to think about. But uh, I, yeah, I, just, I just don't know if I can, uh, you know, validly do this when I'm, you know, gotta, gotta pay the bills and things like that. It is kind of cool, though. I have to say, it is a really nice minifigure. I think it looks really nice. Uh, come on. Focus, camera. Come on. You've got it. There we go. Kind of. It is nice. I mean, the helmet's probably the most detailed bit. It looks pretty good. Let me see if I can find a, uh, a regular clone ARF trooper to compare this guy to. Okay, so I've got a few things we can compare it to here. Uh, so first off, we have ourselves... The um, Horn Company ARF Trooper, as you can see, it is actually a little bit more detailed, I would say, almost. I don't know. It's obviously the same basic helmet shape and all that, um, but there's something like cleaner looking about the paint on the Shadow ARF Trooper. Like the visor is really clean and it pops out nicely while this one is a little bit lackluster maybe. Maybe that's just because it's chrome. I don't know, maybe I'm trying to spot differences that just don't exist here. <laughs> trying to validate the $200 price tag. Um, next up we've got here, this is, get it to focus, Sergeant Hound's ARF helmet. Also a really nice, nice uh, design ARF helmet. This one I would say is definitely like cooler. <laughs> I like the markings on it. It's very distinguishable. I think that's really neat. So yeah, sort of basic design. Uh, and then this last one is going to be interesting. This is actually a Clone Army Customs ARF Trooper right here. In no clone left behind, this was Rookie. And actually, they have very similar Helmet designs as well. I wonder if they somehow molded this after the Lego version. It is a little bit sharper in the back, and then actually the visor part comes off, which I don't love about the Clone Army Custom one. That was really annoying during filming. It kept popping off. Um, but other than that, the, the same basic general shape applies to both. I wonder if Clone Army Customs did end up using a mold or something like that to... Uh, make their ARF Trooper. It is entirely possible right there. So yeah, I mean, the, the, the gun that comes with it, the blaster, is sort of that standard Lego blaster from the time period. Not my favorite blaster. They're like okay looking. You know, you can slap a DC-15C on it. And I think it looks a little bit nicer. A little bit more, a little more spicy. It's got a little bit more spice to it, or you could go all in with the uh, DC-15A, baby. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Definitely looks better. I mean, anything looks better than these old blasters, but whatever. <laughs> so, I think that is probably going to be about it for this video. Um, really, I just wanted to showcase this in a video. I thought it'd be kind of fun and funny. Uh, really hefty price tag on this boy on this boy um, let me know in the comments do you think I should sell it do you think I should hold on to it for a while what what is your guys's thought process on this bad Larry right here certainly a pricey one but kind of cool and it's like a little piece of Lego history I definitely think at the very least I will probably do at least one scene of it in the stop-motion I'm working on or else it feels like you know 
I didn't get enough out of this boy. Uh, and then I'll probably sell him. I'll probably be selling him at a loss because they're $200 sealed. They're not $200 loose. That's what you have to understand. A loose minifigure of this is not $200. It's uh, probably $150 or something like that, I'd assume. Um, but sealed is a whole different story. I, literally taking things out of the package depreciates the value significantly. So, oh well. Uh, it was a fun video though. I'm not complaining. It was very fun. I had a, I had a cool time unboxing this. It, it just feels so precious, you know? I got my precious. I gotta keep it good. I gotta keep it nice. <laughs> Alright gamers, that's gonna be about it for today's video. Just a chill, relaxed one, reviewing this guy. Oh, I didn't give it a number score! Um, I'd probably give it like a 8 out of 10. Not worth the price tag, but still a really cool piece of LEGO history, I would say. 8 out of 10. That's my review. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And smash that like button for my wallet. Maybe it'll heal it a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.